Hi, my name is James Schmelzer, and we're on location today in downtown Detroit at the Fisher Building. And I have with me one of the smallest umbrella kits. So this is by Rogue, and it comes with a 32 inch shoot through white umbrella, and also a 38 inch optically white black backed umbrella. So I'm gonna put these two umbrellas through their course today, do a photo shoot, and tell you my perspective on shooting with something very compact. So you just put them in a little case it comes with and you're on your way. So what's nice about this umbrella, it's a shoot through umbrella, but it has fiberglass ribs inside, which make it less prone to bending, cracking, breaking. It's just a beautiful little compact umbrella. This is called a shoot through umbrella. You can shoot through it or bounce off of it. And again, it's made by Rogue. Just, just a great compact little umbrella. So what they've done is they've shortened up this shaft and they made it really strong so that if you tighten down on the nuts on your light, you won't dent it up and wreck it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the techniques behind shooting through and bouncing off the umbrella. And I have our beautiful model today, Adriana. So I'm using these little compact lights today and these little compact lights go perfect with this little umbrella because I can travel really small and lightweight. So let's put this on the light stand here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pop this on there. And you can see how quick it is to set up. So once you've mounted your umbrella on here, you can see some light skipping through out of the umbrella over there. That's because you don't have it all the way in enough to not let any spill come out. A lot of times you'll see it on the floor and different things in the room. So make sure that the width of your light, whatever the spread is, is in there so you don't get any ambient light bouncing out the sides that might contaminate something or bounce on a wall or whatever. So the only science really to bouncing off is just making sure your light's in there the correct way. Now. You can see that I can get this light pretty close because this shaft's not real long. The reason why you use a small umbrella is for the compactness, but you also gonna create a more sharper light. Softness is controlled by the size of your umbrella. Also the distance, but I would rather change the size of the umbrella to control the softness instead of the distance and use the distance of your light from your subject to control the spread of the light. You back it up, it spreads more. If you bring it in close to your subject, it doesn't spread very far, it dies off fast. Light in close falls off fast. So we have our beautiful model here and we've got our light set up. And the first thing we wanna do is get the height correct. Remember, your light is always up at a 45 degree angle coming down. So we can see right now that the problem with the lighting is it's going sideways, like your catch lights are at three o'clock and nine o'clock instead of 10, 11, 12, one and two. So let's take it up and make sure that, that shadow is correct. There we go. Now, when it comes to what's the correct side of your subject to put your light at, it's always at the part of the hair. She has parted her hair in the center, which means you could pick either side. But I'm thinking about this side of her hair looks like it's out of her face more than this side. So this is her better side to be photographed at, hair-wise, probably fuller looking, but the best side of her for your light is where you're not gonna get any shadows on the face. So I might tell Adriana to pull the right side of her hair back just a little bit, just a little, that's good. Yeah, you can do that too, perfect. Okay, so now we've cleaned up any shadows going across her face from the light. We can get it into the correct position. Now you can see how high it is. This is, this is the angle of your light. So I wanna make sure it's angled correctly. And then let's have her look straight forward. And we can see we have a nice shot there. So let's, before I start taking any pictures, let's 
get the pose down because you don't want to, once you're ready and you're ready to go, you want to get the pose down. So let's see what you want to do there. Try the opposite leg, cross it the opposite way. That's good. A little more across. And what you're, what you're making sure is that they don't have one leg. You always try to make sure that they're crossed enough to keep it looking from one leg. So cross it even a little bit more. Okay, cool. Now we're looking at the hair. This got a little bit of hair on her shoulder. This side doesn't. So yep, perfect. Hair looks good today, perfect. Now that right side, just pull it back again so we're ready to go. So let's take a few photographs because I'm gonna show you what it looks like to shoot through and what it looks like to bounce off the umbrella. All right, now we're gonna take this and we are gonna shoot through the umbrella. So the video is a little dark because I want you to be able to see the front of this umbrella. I want this to show up. So let's take a look what happens when I bring it really close to the front. That's when you get a hot spot. So this is like the sun's outside, the cloud just came in front of it. We call this directional diffused. When I take it and I move it away from the front, we call that fully diffused. So let's take a look at the front of that. There's no hot spot now, that's fully diffused. So what's great about a shoot through umbrella is all the different contrast levels you can get. So as you look at the lighting on her face right now, that is fully diffused. As I pull this up to the fabric, look at the brilliance it adds to the lighting. So you've gone from a really beautiful shadow right now to a fully diffused beautiful shadow. But those are the two different looks that you can pull off just by one umbrella. Now I'm gonna turn the umbrella around and bounce off of it. And again, that's a whole nother look you can get. So now to do the full length, I'm gonna back the light up a little bit more so that it spreads. I'm determining the correct distance to the spread of the light. If she's too dark down there, it's cause the light's too close. So you back it up to get the spread of the light. And it's easy enough because the light's so compact, it's still producing a beautiful shadow. But the best thing is quick and fast to set up. 